front of the other. Welcome back. We are continuing Winter Wellness Week with a lesson in rituals. Please welcome author of Rituals Roadmap, Eric Keswin. Nice to see you, Erica Keswin. Thank you. So, Erica, uh, tell us the why are rituals something that we need to have in our lives on a regular basis? So rituals ground us during turbulent times, and I think we could all agree we are experiencing unprecedented turbulent times right now. And rituals give us what I call the three Ps. The okay. first is psychological safety. They give us a feeling of connection and belonging. They give us an opportunity to connect to purpose and add those two together, and you get the third P, which is increased performance. So when we have rituals, our oxytocin, our feel-good hormone goes up, and our stress, our cortisol, actually goes down. So what's the difference? Because I think routine to me doesn't sound as fun as ritual. Like, I always <laughs> feel better with ritual versus routine. What's the difference? A hundred percent. Yeah. So when I think about the difference, ritual is something to which we assign a higher level of meaning and value. It's okay. something that is intentional. And a ritual is something that has a regular cadence. We might do it every day, every week, every year. But what's really interesting to me when I started studying the science of rituals is that a ritual is something that goes beyond its practical purpose. So here's an example. We're all in the studio right now. Let's say the lights go out and I light a candle. Oh. That's not a ritual. Oh. Even though, you it's, know. It's, right. it's part of one of my rituals. Okay, well, I want to hear about that. Yeah. But if, but if the lights go out in the studio and I light a candle so that I can read, it's, it's not a ritual. God. But if every week at 5 o'clock I light a candle to signify, let's say, the end of the work week sure. as I go into the weekend, mm -hmm. that is a ritual. Got it. So what about um, adding rituals? What are some you suggest that we should be adding to our lives now? Right. So the first one I would say is to begin and end with intention. And, you know, beginnings and endings are what I call prime rituals real estate. So many people have rituals when they wake up in the morning, for example. I have a coffee ritual. Right. And it's more about the caffeine. Trust me, that I get my <laughs> coffee. I sit there for a few minutes. I feel the heat on my hands, I taste that first sip, I do a few deep breaths. Rituals are often associated with your senses. Right, and sure. I've actually read that you have a, a sleep, some type of a sleep y ritual. Yes, Erica, I draw a bath, I put lavender inside the bath, I light incense, I sage my bed, and I light two candles while I play spa music, all before I go to bed every night. Wow. Not every night. <laughs> Not every night, but every once in a while, I will do that to sort of wind, wind down at the end of the day. Right, and... <laughs> so it's 4, 4.30, Rip, but lay off. Well, it's we, my we ritual. Have to, right, we have to be flexible. Yours might be at 4 p.m. You have to get up and get here so exactly. early in the morning. Exactly, I got that's, it. That's, it's a long ritual. That's nighttime. What's another you? one? Okay, so the second one is to take breaks. And, you know, if we've learned anything from 2020, it's that it's really hard and not good for our health and wellness to sit in front of a computer all day long yeah, on Zoom. Right. And so many of us have, have brought rituals into our lives to get us to take a break. And actually a woman shared recently a, a cool ritual that she calls 20 by 20 by 20. Every 20 minutes, she takes a 20 second break, 20 feet from her computer to get her That's up, to get her moving, take a deep breath, and in that moment, to feel more connected to herself. That's, I like the 2020, I'll try that. All right, we're gonna come back. We're gonna take a break. Kelly has more after this. We're back with Erica Keswin. Um, what additional steps can we take to add to the rituals in our lives? Because as you already know, we are very ritualistic people here. So when I think about what's gone on, especially over the last year, you know, in this pandemic, we need to stay connected. So an important way to bring rituals into our lives is to stay connected. The pandemic is happening to all of us, but in very different ways. So whether you live alone or we're living with a bunch of people, people are feeling isolated, they're feeling lonely, mental health issues are on the rise. And so build in a ritual. You know, I have, I realized during this time that I was missing some of my really close girlfriends who I haven't seen. So I have a friend in Colorado. We now have a weekly ritual. She goes on a walk. I go in a walk. I'm getting my 10,000 steps in. And we're on the phone, the good old fashioned phone, as we both go for a walk in two different places. Um, what, what's another one that we can do that doesn't involve like um, that kind of stuff, like something so else? So the next one I would say is to give back. You know, there's a lot of science and research that shows that when we give back, it makes us feel more purposeful, and people with purposeful lives are happier 
and healthier. So whether you want to get together with your kids or your colleagues at work or even on your own and give back, meet cards for the people on the front lines, giving vaccines, check in on an elderly neighbor. You know, rituals don't have to cost anything and they're accessible to all of us. Mm, it's really, it's great advice. And it does, it's like, I always say, if you do volunteer work, it gives so much more to the person volunteering. 100%. Yeah, what, what's something else? That we and the last one, I'd say last, but certainly not least, is to have some fun. That these days have felt long and heavy and we need some levity. We need to laugh and not feel guilty about it. And so think about ways to build in fun. I mean, with my family, we've started family poker. We watch Jeopardy. The kids have contests with each other. We've had family dinners where everybody's dressed up. Um, and so just think about, you know, with you in your life and where you can build in some of these rituals to, to, to again, bring some levity to what's been a very trying time. Can I give you a really good suggestion yes, for one? please. My kids turned me on to watching news fails. Have you ever seen these? No. It's like when news anchors just, like, <laughs> when things go wrong for news anchors. And I don't know why it's so funny. I guess because their job is to be perfect right, all the time. Right, right, right. It's endlessly entertaining. Okay. I shouldn't be laughing at it because it's like, but it is endlessly entertaining. All right. So I'm, I just want you to put I'm, that I'm on your list. That in. Yes, 100%. build that in. Um, for more information on the power of rituals, visit kellyandryan.com. Don't forget to check out Erica's book, Rituals Roadmap, everywhere books are sold. We'll be right back. <laughs> Reading books is my rich, my big ritual.